I'm Chris Wall with The Wall Network and today I'm going to give you a sneak peek video into the VMware vSphere web client that came out with vSphere 5.1. Now the web client is not new specifically, it's it's been out before in 5.0, but it has been given a huge facelift and a ton of functionality and starting with version 5.1 this is the primary client for vSphere administrators. So they've matched the functionality to the legacy vSphere client. Uh, they've added, uh, well, any additional vCenter 5.1 functionality will only be available through the vSphere web client. And it's fully supported on Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, uh, as well as Safari, but it currently doesn't have VM console access. So if you've used the previous web client, and you thought, eh, this is okay, but it can't take, you know, place for the vSphere client, you were correct, it couldn't. The new one in 5.1 absolutely can. So let's log in, and I'll show you two of my favorite new features that should have you pretty excited about the new web client. I'll let that log in there. So I'll publish some, some details on all the, the new stuff and, and kind of how this all works, and suffice to say, it, it's got all the functionality you can expect um, from the thick client or the web Windows client, whatever you want to call it. I've actually been using it for several weeks now and, and forcing myself not to use the uh, old client and been successful. So I haven't found anything yet that I couldn't do in the web client. Um, so actually I'm going to show you three things. So number one is when you go to manage your environment, and I'll go to the infrastructure here, there's some fun little graphics you get to play around with. Uh, the inventory is now um, kind of sorted out by objects. This is actually called the inventory objects area. And what's nice about that is that I no longer really care about the relationship of how these objects interact in this view. If I want to manage networking, I want to manage any networking that that exists in, within my management domain. Whether or not that network exists in one cluster, different cluster, whatever data center. If I have access to it, I can click on networking and I can you know, manipulate, I can manage it. So I like that. Now, and I'll do the back button here. This is the object navigator, it lets you kind of move around where you want to go. There's still a tree ver uh, view version, and when, to, you know, to be honest, when I first started using this um, web client in 5.1, I kind of navigated here naturally because I've been using this thing for years and I'm most comfortable in this view. So don't feel bad if you want to start here and then start learning the more virtual infrastructure object view later. You know, whatever you want, whatever makes you comfy. So let's show you the, the two cool things now. So let's say I'm in networking and, and someone said, hey, Chris, can you go to this DV switch and add a port group? Hey, no problem. You know, give me the details. Oh, it's a, it's a port group for new, new the SpongeBob, SpongeBob app. I was like, oh, great. And uh, I'm running in a small window here, so it normally doesn't scroll here, but uh, so I'm going through and I'm, I'm setting the Spongebob app, needs 250 ports and uh, maybe it needs a VLAN and oh, right in the middle of it the boss comes in and says, hey, how many VMs are we running on this cluster? Well, typically what you have to do? You had to cancel this task or open another client window neither of which is all that great. So now I just click off of this thing or click these double arrows I'm just going to click off of it, poof, it just kind of genies over into this work in progress tab. So this is all the work that I'm currently doing. And I could just totally shuffle this to the side and keep doing some other things, come back to it later. You know, kind of a note to self, I need to make this, this port group. And I never left the window, so, you know, that that's awesome. I, and I imagine a lot of other administrators who use this thing a lot uh, will be pretty excited about the ability to, to push work off in progress to the side. Uh, the other thing, and I'm just going to leave this here during the demo, why not? Um, the other thing would be the logs and the vSphere client. Um, not that great. I'm not going to say anything harsh about it, but not that great. Typically when I would work with logs, I would either use Linux commands on the shell, or I would download the logs and use Notepad++. I'm a Windows guy, so that's my preferred app. Uh, that is kind of no longer necessary. Uh, so I'll click on this host and give it a second here to build all the different objects and such that uh, will will come here. Uh, and this is there we go. We got the uh, the object is built. So and again, this is just one server in my home lab, so it's running a little sluggish. But so I can click on monitor on this host, and you can click on whatever you want. Uh, let's go browse the logs of things that are related to this host. Um, so 
I could go into host D and you can see here is all the host D information that's pertinent to this host, you know, everything on the host D log in there. I mean, just look at all these entries. We're at entry 9111, oh, 9118. We're at entry 30,000. I mean, just, you can go through this thing for miles. You can filter. I want to look at all these SSL issues that are going on. I can click that. It'll highlight SSL. You can set up advanced filters where it's, you know, is this, is not that, you know. Uh, it, it's It's really, really awesome. It kind of... Uh, I would say it's at least as good as Notepad++, uh, probably better because I don't have to dump these into something extra. So another really cool feature. If you give it some time and, and start kind of learning through it, you'll be very uh, pleasantly surprised. And uh, like you know, VMware is basically saying this is where they're going with it. So uh, time to you know get on the train early rather than getting hit by the train later. Hope you've enjoyed this video and. Uh, Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to see more videos uh, along these lines. Thank you.